நம்ம இந்தியன் டீம் மாதிரியே ஈஸியாக ஜெயிக்க வேண்டிய மேட்சை கடைசி வரைக்கும் டென்ஷனாக கொண்டு போய் ஒரு மாதிரியாக ஜெயிச்சிட்டாங்கப்பா What is up everyone? This is me, Prasanna Balakrishnan, back again. This time for the match review of Heart Attack Super Kings vs. Mumbai Indians. Um, because Tennis Super Kings cannot do things the easy way. They only like to take things till the last over, give the fans heart attacks. And that is probably what me, Neha and probably millions of other CSK fans will probably die early because of CSK giving us heart attacks. And <laughs> I mean... That's true. That's truth in it because we don't do things the easy way. But whatever said and done, we have won finally. And I've got Neha who probably is probably the happiest person right now given the person who finished the game off. And uh, so how are your feelings? I mean, obviously, it's more than 20, more than uh, almost a day after the game. Hours. Uh, yeah, 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 more, yeah. Just about more than the more than almost a day. But how do you yes. feel? How do you still feel? For me, it still hasn't sunk in. it it still hasn't sunk in as you as you rightly said and as you stay as you said right the fans of chennai super kings might die early as it stands true even for the stock traders they say that the stock traders heart is always here and they might die early but it's for us as well but everyone everyone knows right it's an el clasico and it is so important to win against mumbai indians you know the way we say india has to necessarily win against pakistan i think the similarly stands for csk that we have to win Uh, against mumbai indians and i think not just throughout the match i think but in the last over i, I can say that my breath was stuck in my throat i'm like what is going to happen what is going to happen but somewhere deep down we know dhoni is there of course he will try his best to uh make the match win for us but then you never know yaar i mean i was like kaise bhi karke match ji jaye match ji jaye and that just eventually happened 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 and to all the dhoni haters yaar i mean he is nowhere to go don't discard him yet and please don't say he's not the best finisher excuse me please watch all the earlier matches and please watch yesterday's matches what do you mean by he's not the best finisher yet he is winning matches for us what else do you want so um, own my request at the start of this uh, show to everyone is don't discard my man yet he is here he is just left the captaincy but he is very much in the team and he is not just in the team because just to fill in that gap or uh, or because he's been with the team for long years he has lots left in him saying that obviously we all know last year against delhi capitals he finished the game off and this year again um first game he got a 50 and the next game he got 16 of 6 i think and then after that um, he didn't bat for two three games but now again he has batted um and obviously unakat against dhoni it was never going to be it was all about him playing out bumra and uh, special mention of pretorius as well but before anything let me just show something that will shock many of us you see here ms dhoni has more runs than virat kohli and rohit sharma <laughs> That's all. We oh, we God. don't need to say anything more else. And He and more and than Kohli and Sharma. In in and then even after this stats on what record are people just pointing at Dhoni for what reason? The records are saying it all. Usually people say go go and check stats, go and check the records. Okay, we are doing that. Who scored more runs exactly. this season? Him. So all all the fans of the other team as well. I would like to tell you, please be humble about everything. Okay, okay. Your your man is making great runs or whatever, but don't just discard our team and our greatest man yet. Forget about everything. Just look at the stats. Who's made more runs? Says it all. We don't have to say anything. Inaction is the biggest action. Over. Yeah, exactly. When you say when you say your team is making more runs, well, they are actually making more runs. It's only the team is actually saving them out of danger every single time. But before we go into this review any further, I would like all of you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to get notifications. Join our I upload videos like this. Um, I'm not sure what Neha is drinking. I think it's Mumbai Indian tears. <laughs> yeah, all all fans tears. Every bit of their tears is what I'm trying to say yeah. down here. It's it's so it's so good in the throat. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> So yes, I'm almost close to 400k, 400. Uh, what to say, 400k, but 400 subscribers. Hopefully, get yeah. there one day. Almost close to 400 subscribers. Make sure you let me get there. Of course, I'll be streaming a lot over the last, next few days. I have tells. Um, I will be doing what live watch along of Arsenal versus Man United tomorrow in the Premier League. Um, obviously, it's a night play next only on Monday. So my match review for that will come only on Monday. So keep your eyes peeled out for that. So we did make. three changes not just one not just two but three changes just run through the changes and 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 let, and let us know where you happy with the changes or where you thinking why so many 
Hello. Yeah, sorry, I think my internet uh, got disconnected. Yeah, 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 it happened. So, were you happy with the changes? Because we made three changes, not just one, not just two. So, were you happy or were you like, why so much? But that so makes one, sense. One was, we, one was we dropped Moen Ali. Yeah. Uh, then, I guess, I think we bought in Santiner and Pritor. I think we dropped two. We made two changes, not three, right? Um, oh, Mumbai made three changes. We made two changes. Yeah, yeah. we bought we in made two changes. for Jordan we... and we bought Sandner for Moin Ali. Sandner for Moin Ali. Of course, dropping. When I first heard that we've dropped Moin Ali, I was not, I was like, not sure what's the reason is because he's like a complete all rounder. He can bat for us, get us the wickets. And uh, uh, Pretura, of course, I think Jordan was injured. So, yeah. uh, he was not injured. I, I don't want to see him anywhere near this team. Seriously, <laughs> after the way he bowled the last game, I'm sorry. With all due respect, I don't want him to play okay, over Pretoria. Okay, he was not injured, Pretoria. Of course, initially dropping Moen Ali seemed a little disastrous decision. But when you get through the game, Santner got his wickets. Pretoria got, got us the crucial runs with Dhoni in the end overs. So, no complaints at all. Uh, I think with the changes, we only get to know after the result of the match, whether it proved yeah. uh, useful or useless. So, before the match, it's easier to say, oh, how can you drop Moen Ali and everything. I felt the similar way. But now, when I look at it, as I said, Satner got us the wicket and Pretora got us some good runs. So, bye-bye Jordan in Pretora. But I think I would still like to see Moen Ali in the coming matches. We can't just drop him yet completely. So, yeah, that, that was my initial take on the uh, changes. And that was it. And we won the toss, finally. And we decided to have a bowl. And lo and behold, first over brought us two wickets. Mukesh Chaudhary, Ms. finally, Mr. Mukesh. Can say, yes. Finally, he has actually stepped up to the plate. I mean, he start he starts well generally in the first few games. First, first over, he gave probably one or two runs, and then after that, uh, they started to take him for runs in the second and third over. But he got the initial swing, and that ball to Ishan Kishan, man, just talk me through it. What was it like? It was just <laughs> too good. I I I don't know actually what to say about it, but uh, I think he himself he was not surprised. But I I think Ishan Kishan was surprised. I don't quite recollect that ball exactly. Now that you're talking about it, it's been so it was like hours. a swing. That was like a swing ball, and like it pitched on middle, it hit like stump. And Ishan Kishan he, he put too much weight on his back foot, and it, he he literally fell to the ground while trying to play that shot. With that play that shot, went, okay, was so far away from his I, back. Yeah, I, I actually don't remember that shot in 324 hours right now. But I would like to talk about the drop of two wickets that happened in the first over itself. One was Mr. Rohit Sharma. Uh, yeah. Of course, uh, I think the match was in Bankhade. Was it, in, uh, it was in Dwi Patel. It was in Mumbai. I'm sure Mumbai Indians fan, uh, Indians fan uh, expected a lot from Rohit Sharma. But uh, he got out. And then, of course, Mr. Ishan Kishan as well. So, I think we started off very well. We started off like really uh, very well when we got this early wickets. But of course, I would like to talk about the rest of the match as we go ahead and we take over by over or whatever. That is but, there. Yeah. And then there were our fielders. There was Jareta himself who couldn't catch a call for some reason. I mean, one catch, okay, you can say it happens. I mean, I don't know what he was because he was running back, running backwards because running back is always hard to take a catch. Pretoria was running towards him. The Reza clearly showed him that, uh, clearly kind of showed him the arms and he was like, I'll take this catch. And he ended up being nowhere even near. But that and didn't this, cost too much per se. Yeah, but you know, these you these kind of things you don't expect from Jadeja. I mean, yeah. again, I'm not sure if it's the captaincy. It's too early to say whether it's the captaincy that's taking a toll on him. But Jadeja is somebody who like from a distance also gives like a superb run out or a proper run yeah. out. Or will go to any corner of the ground. I'm put, giving a hyperbole here. But going to any corner of the ground to grab that ball. Um, so, it's least expected from uh, Jadeja. At least such kind of mistakes. And the kind of catches we dropped. I saw a meme where people were mentioning Chennai dropping catches like the crush drops hints. So, yes. I think that was a bit of miscalculation there in terms of catches and everything. But I'm sure. I mean, it's okay. We'll, we'll uh, catch up. That's, that's nothing to worry about. And speaking of which, um, Surya Kumar, yeah, there was a miss thumping. I don't know how Dhoni missed that. And then uh, next over, Deval Brevis gets dropped. I think immediately the next over, um, Tilak Varma also got dropped in the slip. There was a wonderful ball. He edged it to Dwayne Bravo and Bravo fluffed his lines. And at that point, I was thinking, dude, can we actually catch? I mean, we couldn't catch Corona if we had to. That's how bad our catching <laughs> was. 
but it's fine but, i mean dhoni is human yaar i mean of course of as 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 with jadeja we don't expect any fielding mistakes with dhoni we don't expect any stumping misses but it's exactly. fine he's human so ho jata hai kabhi kabhi out of 100 one happens that it's okay like but of course the drop catches and the miss i would like to term it miss fielding was was like a major concern we would have restricted them to a much lower total i think had it not been the uh dropped catches and the game would not have gone so far and to a thriller but all all all's well that ends well exactly and the only person who kind of looked very comfortable with our bowling was surya kumar yadav he was absolutely exceptional he took he took to our attack from start to finish he looked very comfortable and until jareja put that field for him and got him out that was super some super piece of captaincy yes and uh, yes. tilak varma did start slow obviously he's a youngster but he ended very well and scored a fantastic 50 which was wonderful to see he's been he you can probably say him and deval bravest sky are probably the three shining lights for mumbai indians when it comes It's to the mumbai because indians. others have been yeah. super uh, inconsistent and then yeah. dhoni being dhoni set that straight field for pollard you don't need to say anything more that's the that. usual trick that's the usual trick for pollard yeah exactly he he knew what pollard was going to do and pollard still took on him he thought okay i got this much power in the world and try to clear it for six it just does it just didn't happen it's it's not just like that that dhoni is called the most uh, intelligent cricketer or he yeah. has the most uh, in- intellectual cricketing brain there is something that he has and that's why he's named that i'm sorry i'm just raving about dhoni but uh, <laughs> After a long time, I've got this chance, so I don't want to miss it. Yeah, go for it, man! It's, it's obviously we all CSK fans. We all like to hear praises about Dhoni. Go for it. There's no exactly. one exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean exactly as as you said about Mumbai players, right? Like every team has those shining players, if not consistent, but every match one or the other player will shine out and give those extra either runs or wickets to the team. But I would like to say that with Dhoni, it's almost every match. Maybe it is not being. shown out right there but his input is so valuable in terms of being batting or bowling or the field setup or anything it doesn't come out very evidently but we know that it is his brains behind the entire field setup as well and i it's no doubt about that jadeja is still in the transitioning phase i'm sure he takes lots of input inputs from dhoni and uh, other seniors in the team but uh, i think we give very less credit to dhoni when it comes to all of these factors and matters and we yes. only focus that he's not batting he's not batting fine but he's doing that extra contribution and value in in others in in the form of many other things on the field why do people forget that exactly and dhoni has got the better of pola three times alone with that straight field one in the 2010 final at the same stadium 2017 final at hyderabad when he put that straight uh, put him literally straight behind the bowler and now this time So he yeah. just knows what Pollard is up to, and even against Bangalore, when he um, shifted a fielder from deep um, deep pit wicket to deep square leg for Vidar Kohli, and Kohli fell to the trap. So it's just these small yeah. small things that differentiate between good captains in, and great captains, and we all know what a great captain Dhoni is. And and in other shows, I've just heard people saying that I cannot believe that a 38 or a 40 year old can be the best finisher in the world. Had Shivam Dubey done that, it was believable. But uh, I know which uh, one you're I, talking I, about. Yeah, and people say I do not believe that he can be the most uh, whatever uh, best finisher in the world. And I'm like, as far as my man, as you're forgetting that we have won the match, and that man has won us that match. So it's I don't know why you won't believe that he's the best finisher in the world, and why he cannot in the last over win us the match. Why it has to be a youngster? Forget about it, man. Youngster, what he he's winning us matches, and it. it was unbelievable for me but i guess it's it's just anger they want to end out so it's okay i mean i couldn't care less anyone who finishes as long as we win the game let it be yeah, not let it be do me anyone exactly i don't care who is finishing that's my point why are you so worried that our dhoni who is 40 year old is finishing matches for us is that a worry point for you then it's your problem exactly i mean facts he scored sorry, more than i'm sorry that you i'm sorry that you don't have such players and you feel sorry for that you went to the like way He most score runs are your captain. Then your young captain, so-called young captain, yeah. Ganas. Yeah, and your captain plays top of the order while Dhoni comes at number five or six. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, fine, but I'm going to be cocky in this show. I'm sorry, the last show that I did, but whatever, I don't care. Well, no one, no one. You, well, you won. You have every right to right to exactly um, be. You to be gassed, you can be high. I mean. 
But yes. saying that, we didn't finish pretty strongly though. We could have chopped the runs and again, last over, um, the before last over, um, Shivang Dobe, I don't know, what is he trying to go catching like this? He's trying so hard to catch the Australian way when he's more better off catching like this. I mean, it okay it worked for the Pollard catch. He did the Australian way, but that, but for our cut, his position was all wrong and it was just all over the place. But we somehow got them to 155. And actually, I went on Mumbai Indians um, maintaining show and, and Chinno mm. asked me who is going to be a player for um, player for Chennai. Chennai. And I straight away said Gaikwad. That went well, didn't it? First ball. First ball itself proved it wrong. Finished. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh my God, not again. Here we go again. And yeah. Yeah, and we, yeah. we were good in moments of the game. We were we were taking the game to them, but in 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 most parts we threw, threw our wickets away, especially the ones of. I think what Kuba. what helped us because our wickets also collapsed quite in quick succession. What helped us, which we are forgetting, is Raidu and Uttapas partnership. Yeah, I think that kind of helped us put the game together. Nobody's talking about that. But that really uh, kind of pushed the innings forward because even our wickets were just falling in quick succession and it would have gone either way. So I think in the first innings when Mumbai was batting, the match was completely in our hands. Match was completely in our hands. And in the second innings, I think the match slipped away when we when our wickets kind of fell, 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 fell. And the gap between the required runs and the required balls started increasing. But I guess it was Robin Uttapa and Raidu kind of something. And then Pretorius played a very small but a very crucial innings. Let's not forget that. And of course, Dhoni held it all for us together. So I think the match kept on slipping between them and us, them and us, them and us. But last over was like a decider. Any Anything, it, it could have gone either way. Exactly. And Raidu and, Ambat, and Raidu Uttapa nearly had a 50-run partnership. Sadden obviously yes. did get those two fours, but he was done by a short ball from Daniel Sam's. I mean, hmm. we made actual we made Daniel Sands look good. After man gave so much runs in the past few few <laughs> games, we actually made him look good. I mean, he took like four wickets. Four, four wickets, yeah. Four, right? Yeah, four. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. We we, and, we gave him his easy wicket, something to celebrate to Mumbai Indians. Otherwise, they would have just sulked, like every other game. Yeah, something to. <laughs> but they lost, so you got nothing. It really paper or cracks to whatever loss, but. Yeah. Shivam Dubey's foot movement. I mean, I've seen more movement in Maram to Sods than his foot movement. Is it's absolutely non-existent. He literally just stands on the grease and tries to play shots. I mean, when it comes off, it looks good, but when you hmm. when, when it doesn't, you're like, dude, where's your foot movement? I think he'll, he'll get there. Let's let's give him some time. Now that he's in the Chennai camp, I'm sure he will shine. Yeah. Because whoever comes in our camp, we kind of polish them and make sure we retain them for one-two season and then let them shine. So, I'm not too worried he's there to stay for long. I mean, Gaikwad is a classic example. I mean, look at him, the way he started and the way he is right now. Okay, in one match, he got out on top of the first ball. That's fine. But Gaikwad is a classic example of what an evolution, uh, his his journey, what a journey he, it has been for him. And I'm confident that it will be the same for Shivam Dubey as well. No, I'm not having a god share in the way. Obviously, he has been brilliant. I mean, he's had three good knocks. Yeah. One, a 49 against Lucknow and then 57 in the next game. And then, obviously, hmm. he missed out a century against Bangalore. And, but yeah. one common thing that happens with him is whenever he gets out, it's the lack of foot movement. Both him and Moinali. They just try hmm. to throw the bat at this thing, which, which okay, sometimes yeah. it can work. But well, but as I said earlier, I've seen more movement in Maram to Sods than Shivam's <laughs> foot movement. That's how non-existent yeah. it is. But, yeah, but, but I think we, we'll get to... there. What, what I also feel bad about is with such great knocks from even from Shivan, Shivam Dubey didn't help us win quite matches. But it's okay. I mean, those has to those great knocks has to turn into wins as well for us. Yeah. Uh, hopefully yeah. in the forward, all the games. Otherwise, I think it's just individual performance. I mean, but I'm sure we have many more games to go now ahead. And I think the next Mumbai CSK is 11th or 12th May. Yeah, something so, like that. Something like that. That is one match. Before that, of course, it's Monday as well. So, I hope we carry on this confidence in the ahead and forward games as well and go with the same momentum and carry the winning streak. So, do, do we still have a chance to qualify? Of course, we do, right? I mean, it's slim, but I think we probably have to win all our games. 
Because with a good, the very is, good run rate, with a very good run rate, I'm guessing. I mean, if we win run rate, if we keep winning run rate, we'll keep on increasing. But yeah, given the yeah. top three teams are already in ten points, so qualifying with fourteen points, I'm not sure it's a possibility this time. So we might yeah. we yeah. even the but fourth we'll, place team might need to lose sixteen points. So yeah, we'll try. There have been situations in the past where we've lost initial matches, and then each match was a compulsory win, and I think we did that. Uh, we did that once, sure. I think, in 2010. But apart from that, whenever yeah. we have, like, whenever we have gone through playoffs, we've kind of like we've started superbly and then we've carried on. We might have hiccups here and yeah. there in the middle, but we generally start I think this, strong and we this, carry that through. This season kinds kind of reminds me of the Dubai, uh, the Dubai season where we kind of, from the beginning itself, we were on the yeah. losing, losing, losing streak, and then we eventually lost and got out. So it kind of yeah. replicates that memory for me. But let's see. I mean, I don't have much hopes of this I mean qualifying playoffs because I think we have lost enough ground already. I mean, we've already lost five games. I mean, there's I no guarantee I, that we might not lose there's one. There's no guarantee, the but but I also think that this was bound to happen whenever there was a captaincy change. Ah, I course. mean, let's 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 just say that this is a transition phase. Yeah. For one of the new captains who will take the team ahead and to win probably more cups in the near future, this is the price that we have to pay. We had to. That this would have definitely cost us one season at any point of time, at any point yeah, in time, course, wherever there was a captain. Not two change. seasons at max. Exactly. So I think maybe this season is the transition season, and this season, I mean, it will cost us this season. But I think it's fine as far as in the long run. Let the new teams come in, yeah. Let them play. Let them win. What else do we say? I mean, after we won last year, 2020 only seemed a blip. I was, I was thinking, okay, 2020, every season we're qualifying for playoffs. Let other teams also do so. Let's give them yeah. also a chance to play. How how long yeah. can we ourselves just keep on going and doing our thing? Mm. But at but Raido Nothapa they got out, got out at the wrong time. Raido was kind of staying there. He was doing his thing. He obviously, um, he had to he had to stay put at one until he got out of a full toss ball. And I mean, last three overs we needed forty two runs with two overs from Manakat and one over from Bumrah. As long as we played out the Bumrah over, I think the game was pretty much in our hands because. Yeah, yeah. Russell mentioned here to Dwayne Pretorius. I think he played a superb hand. And, yeah, uh, and I somehow, of yeah. course, Bumrah is a great player and everything, and we are of very course. scared of him. But I think he's got wicketless in the last four matches as well. So his yeah. his form, I'm I'm sure it's temporary. He'll be back. He's he's a great player. But I think his form is also something to worry because he's gone wicketless in the last four matches. So deep down, I don't know why. Maybe it seems a little irrational, but I was not too worried about Bumrah because. He's a little out of form, which is like, which was a good news for us. He's gone wicketless in the last four matches. His momentum is down. So I somewhere deep down, of course, I was not so vocal about it, but I thought, Kichalo, he's not something that we have to worry about. We'll we'll kind of manage him somehow, somehow, somehow. Who would knew Sam's would just come and take four wickets like that? But also talking about Raido and Uttapa, I mean, players like these, people don't really expect that they will contribute so much to the team. Even during the auction or the earlier seasons, people kept on saying, oh, Raidu Uttapa, what use they are or what do they do? This is what they do. Look, exactly. I mean, this is what they do. Yes, we understand. We also invest in the young players, but we also have a balance of the seasons, experienced players. And these are the times where they show how they experience a partnership of 50 runs could take the match away from them. So my request is, don't just discard players by their age. Look what they're bringing to the table. Probably your young players are not even doing that. We are investing in young players like Mukesh or a Guy Gaur or a Shivam Dube. But similarly, we have we need experience of the elder players also. So please break that debate of oh he's old, he's old. What is going to do? Break it. Like we don't have to talk about it. We we are the most experienced old. I mean. Yes, Dad's army. Yeah, Dad's army won last year. Dad's army. Yeah, but what's the point of you having all the young players and still not winning matches then and we having all senior players and still winning matches? I'm happy to be called Dad's army. So what? Exactly. As far as we are winning matches. And of course, we had had to go around to the last three hours as it always does. Pretorius with that crucial 22 yeah. of 14. I mean, those two boundaries of the, the Bumra over. Yes. That was crucial. And I think... That was changing. Yeah. And I think what, what's happening with Bumra is the other teams are realizing that he is the only main strike bowler in the team and other bowlers we can definitely target. And they have taken them for runs. So play them. Yeah. If we play Bumra out or even we can get, say, 10 or 12 runs of his over. It's a win-win situation because we can take out take on the other bowlers anyway, which is what happened today. 
42 of uh, 18. Um, we took uh, 14 of Owner Cut's penultimate over, which was a 6 from Pretorius and a 4 from Dhoni. And uh, 11 run over from Pretorius, I think that was one to see. One with the yes. flake and one straight drive. And last yeah. over, 17 runs to win. Pretorius was on strike first ball. He got LPW and it came down to 17 of 5 with Bravo on strike. Obviously, he took the single made Dhoni on strike. 16 of 4, I was thinking, okay, we need at least two sixes. Or at least 6 4 4, whatever. And he belted one down the ground. I was like, okay, we still are in this. 10 of 3. And then one uh, pull shot uh, hit the hit. sort of top edge, but he knew kind of meant it because fine leg was inside the circle. So that was a pretty safe shot. 6 of 2. And then uh, that was a good yoga from Anakar, by four, the way. Four, 4 was needed in the last ball, right? Yeah, 6 of 2. And then it was a good yoga. Um, he somehow got it away 4 of 1 ball. And then. He missed the occur. He made it a full, Dhoni made it a full toss, and then MS Dhoni does what MS Dhoni does. MS Dhoni was a Sunakar was never going to be a good battle. I mean, never. Eleven balls. I think he has a strike rate of four twenty seven against Sunakar in those eleven balls. That is absolutely oh, crazy. <laughs> that that was that is absolutely crazy. And when yeah. you think of um, some of the great finishes we have finishes we have had, I mean, MS Dhoni not at one KD finished off Mumbai in twenty fourteen. Now it's this um, again, just just um, eight years later, um, just doing the same thing. I mean, we we don't run out of words while describing Emma's Donia. Seriously. Yeah, I mean, w- what to say about that legend, yeah? I mean, clearly, I I I just want people to not discard him yet. Okay, he might. This might be his last. Uh, what do you say? Uh, season, season or maybe. he might. He might not play in the next uh, yay, wo, this, that and all of that. But don't just discard him and don't just go on record saying, I don't think he's the best finisher. What has he done? What has he done? Check your records. Check the books. Google what has he done. Don't just, because your team lost, don't just put words uh, in the air like that because you're angry. Just be careful. He's a senior player. So, you know, just a little respect would be good. If this was Kohli, if this was Pollard, if this was A.B. De Villiers, we would never hear the end of it. And obviously, yeah. when Emma's Dhoni finishes, whole Twitter explodes. Explodes, yeah. You get every yeah. single person from every corner, every actor, yeah. celebrity, politician, yeah. everyone tweeting about Emma's Dhoni. And let's all just... The, all the foreign players, players from other teams, coaches, exactly. everybody, all our Indian ex-players. Look at Sebag. I think I forgot Om Dhoni, Shubhaisa... Finishai Namaha. Exactly. Yeah. All of these, right? So, because there is something special about him, let's not deny yeah. that. I mean, and it's it, it it would have been, trust me, uh, Prasanna, very easy to pick on him if he hadn't put that four also. Yeah, easy. Yeah. People would have gone mad. Oh, he's finished. He cannot finish games. He's 40. He should retire. It is just so quick for those comments also to come out. So, let's not forget there's a bad side also to that as well. Yeah, exactly. So, as as our captain teaches us, let's be humble. Let's not go overboard about it. Take each game as it comes. Just just follow the... Trust the process is what he keeps on saying. So, we'll do that. And before we conclude on this review, let us just bow down to the king once. Always. (laughs) Of course. And, of course, we have got our second win... Um, it's always fun talking to Neha. Obviously, we we always love, like talking CSK. Um, yes. <laughs> where we beat in Bharatanmi or wherever. And of course, if you're new to this channel, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to get notifications when I upload videos like this or go live. I leave Neha's Instagram in the description. Make sure to give her a follow. She obviously does one. Um, I don't know where she is because she kind of goes. She's one place here, one place there. No, I mean, I'm back. I came back this week. So, yeah, I'm back <laughs> to Mumbai. Okay. So, <laughs> this is our second win. Um, still a long way to go. We are still um, we're still well off of being in the top four. But hopefully, we start to get a string of wins. Because we need at least four or five wins in a row. Not just overall four or five wins in a row. To have any chance of even going through. And hopefully, yeah. this can be the start of it. We play the Punjab Kings on Monday. And after that, we play Sunrisers. And games come thick and fast, so there is no room for uh, for error whatsoever. So, thank you, Neha, for joining me. It's always, always a pleasure. Thank you for having you. me. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. When two Dhoni stands combine to talk, <laughs> we just we just we go just on and on, and on. We will not let anyone else talk. <laughs> yeah, and as I keep saying at the end of every single video, stay safe. 
and wash them hands. Thank you, everyone. See you soon. Bye.